The beavers are out. The beavers are out. <laughs> I can still smell how fresh the tree is. I mean, look, you can see the sap dripping off of it. It's so fresh. I wonder if I put that on my pancakes. <laughs> I don't think you can put it on your pancakes, darling. But yeah, you can still smell it and you can still see the sap dripping off of where the beavers have been eating. Uh, well, eating is the wrong word because you can see all the wood chips on the ground, but where the beavers have been working away at this tree so that they can carry off the pieces off into the little river. Which is interesting because this is just like a little local park. It's not out in the middle of the wilderness, so I wouldn't expect to see beavers here. But. I remember seeing those. Are you doing a recording? Yeah, you're good. But yeah, I, I don't know. And I can still smell. It's really interesting how I can still smell it. And look at all these wood chips. They're just chewing away. Chewing away at it. I wonder if they're like guinea pigs and they have to chew on trees to keep their teeth small. But we'll see if we can find any more evidence of beavers. Look, we found the beaver. <laughs> it's a very, uh, very fascinating black Labradorius beaver playing down in the water. But that's about as close to finding a beaver as we have seen thus far. It does make a lot of sense that they've been pecking at all the trees up along this part. I mean, we're literally in the middle of the city. I never knew that beavers would be like this, this close to habitat, like, habitated? What, the, what on earth am I saying? Uh, <laughs> populated areas, there we go. But you can see there's no dams or anything, like, along the river whatsoever. And it goes very, very, very slowly that way. And I found a few pieces of the trees, um, but really nothing else. And I mean, the closest thing, like I said, we found, come on, is the black Labradorius uh, beaver. So we'll continue searching for beaver evidence. All right, so we follow the path from the tree, and there's actually a lot. You can see like abandoned logs that have been nibbled, kind of hidden in the, the underbrush. It's kind of hard to see at first, so you really have to know what you're looking for. Like right there, that is actually another one of the logs. And right here, here's another one. You can see because of the pointed edge from where the beaver has chewed it off. And then there's this little path right here. And if you follow the path, it goes down and you can see where there's drag marks that look like they have dragged the little logs into the river. And once they get it in there, the wood's very buoyant, so it's going to be easy to kind of guide it down the river. So let's go down the river and see if we see anything down there. Because they could, they could conceivably carry it quite a distance. And I know beavers are kind of picky about the trees they choose, because there's lots of other little trees around here. But they really wanted that particular species and that particular size. So maybe they just travel quite a distance. I'll have to learn. Uh, look it up and let you guys know if they travel quite a distance looking for the right trees for their little beaver. What do you call it, darling? Dam. Beaver dam. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we see any evidence. Yeah, so junior field investigations here uh, have shown that this wood is so soft that my nail can scrape through it. So that might be one of the reasons they picked this kind of tree because it's so easy to chew through. I mean, if my fingernail can scrape through it just like that, like, and it's left a deep gouge, then with a giant, like the giant incis incisors, <laughs> giant teeth that the beaver have, it must be really easy to chew through this. But look at that, look how smooth that is. You probably got through these fast. I wonder how many pieces they take at a time. Huh. So wow, we didn't find beavers, but we found something. You guys have to look really closely in the water here. Oh my gosh, there's so many fish. They're just in this long little line laying at the bottom of the river, kind of holding on to the bottom. So it's going to be a little blurry, I apologize. This is just my cell phone camera. But do you see them? Look at all these fish. There's so many! I don't even know what kind they are. That's half the fun of coming out and doing things like this. You guys don't have to be actual biologists. You don't have to know anything detailed about these animals to be able just to come out, be amazed by them, and try to learn more. But look at all these fish! I'm going to have to look them up and see if I can figure out what they are. But we couldn't see any fish, and these guys are not small! They're big fish in the middle of this, this river, in the middle of the city, in the middle of a park! So this is pretty cool. I don't know what these guys are, but they're all just kind of chilling at the bottom. If I try to get any closer, they kind of move though, so... Can I get a little bit closer? I want to show you off. 
Ah, oh, too much glare. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Not beavers, but cool fish. We found more fish! They're huge! They're even bigger than the other ones, and they're richer in coloration, so I'm going to have to look these guys up. But look at how they're opening their mouths. Like, see that guy to the left right there? He just kind of opens his mouth, and as the stream goes by, they're gathering up all the particulates, the food that's swimming in there. Do you guys see them? Look real close. I know it's kind of hard. This is not the best uh, wildlife vlogging camera out there. But there are quite a few fish just in the in the view right here. Oh my gosh, look at how big they are. They're probably at least, um, if not the length of my forearm, almost the length. Like maybe a few inches shorter. And they're a good, they're a good size around too. So those are pretty big guys. Look at the size of them. And the color is a lot deeper. So this is fun. And you just have to walk really, oh look at you, zip zip, zip zip fish, zip zip. But yeah, you have to walk kind of slow because they look kind of like rocks and we would have missed them if we hadn't stopped for a second. So, you got to keep your eyes peeled. Alright, well no beaver spotted and we're basically on the closest thing that passes for a beach up here in the mountains. Look at the sandy glory. <laughs> But no beavers spotted and we've gone down the river quite a bit. So today ends in a mystery where we know that the beavers have been active. We found plenty of evidence of them chewing on the trees all along the riverbank. And I know that they drag the trees into the river and float it all the way back to their home. But we have not found their home. So that'll have to be a mystery for another day. But until then it's been a really fun, nice, nice little walk in the park. So we'll have to see what we find next time. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's starting to be beautiful weather here. And just go outside and see what you see. Like I said, you don't have to be a biologist uh, to really appreciate just what you find. There's constant surprises. If we hadn't been walking so slow looking for beaver evidence, we would have never seen all those fish, and that was really cool. So you guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Even more fish, and they're big. These guys are bigger than the other ones. And they're totally different colors. They're everywhere along the river. This is so much fun. Look at all these fish.